So, welcome to part three. Um, okay, first thing I'm going to do, I've put the core here. Uh, it doesn't really make sense to have the wall, the core right on the edge of the wall, so I didn't realize that when I was doing it. Um, this part of the building is going to be less wide than the ones below, but it's not going to be, the core isn't going to be right on the edge because you'd see a big concrete line down there. Uh, there's not a lot of ways to make that design nice. So I'm going to highlight all of those, filter out the levels, just have the floors, delete. And I'm just going to drag this out, a value. So DI for dimension, if you want to make it exactly the same as mine. I'm going to make it 20 meters. Yeah, there you go. So from that edge, move this 20, 20 meters from there. So, copy, paste align to selected levels. This was number 13. So 14 onwards, press 14 and hold shift, select 30. And there you go that's that done now we're going to build the crane legs it's going to be a family that's going to be parametric yeah that's just going to represent the crane so I'll say file new family I'm gonna say floor based family you could do metric generic if you like um, or face based I'm not gonna do face based I want it to be like beams where is it? Floor based. Ah, oh, just saw it there. Floor based. Random face based. Cool. Okay. Select that. CS. Boom. 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 Just as long as they make sure they're parallel. DI dimension. That, 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 that equal. That 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 equal that to that there that to that there select that one that one new parameter crane ooh. crane leg spacing I'm going to insert load family um, default area, which is around here. Structural columns, steel, British standard, UC columns. Okay, select that one, hold shift, select that one, load them all in, say yes. Families, insert structural columns, universal columns, any, add any. Bring it in there, done, click. I'm going to set this to fine mode. Um, select that. Come here to label. Add parameter. This is going to allow you. I'm going to do it first and tell you. So follow this. So click that. Select add parameter. Call this crane leg size. Let's make it a type parameter. So now, if I select that, you can see its size. I can use the late, sorry, I can use this function, its parameter, to change the size. It can be any one that's loaded in, any column that's loaded in. There you go, size done, sick, great, fantastic. Now, AL for align that. No, I'm not going to do that yet. The reason I'm not going to do that yet is because I want to go to front view. I'm going to change this detail level to fine. I'm going to select the reference plane and say CS for create similar. We're going to go there to there. D DI dimension from level there to level there we're going to call this one height 
These legs are only indicat indicative, so it doesn't really matter. The height just has to go high enough to a certain point. Um, if you want to show the actual crane, you'd get a crane model in there. Um, but now, I can't really align the top edge to this because it's an actual column. I can't align that edge to that one. Uh, this one, this reference plane is only here just indicatively. I may not even, I probably won't even need that. I'm just, I just like putting it in there. Um, but really and truly, you don't really have to put one there. But um, what you do need to do is select this one, come to select the column, come to its height, its top level, top offset. So the base is associated to reference level, and the top is also associated to reference level. But it's uh, got an offset to push it to its level um, nice and easy um, so I'm going to come here and select height as the parameter so now both of them both this length from here to here are at that length and, and that whole beam will have that same length so although it's not associated to that reference plane they're always going to move together because they have the same 20,000 let's say they have the same parameter so you see there you go now, um, the reason I did that first is so now when I copy this one, it's already been done. So CO for copy. Oops, it's going to copy everything. CO, that one. Oh, press enter to do it again. Select multiple. There, there, there. Okay, now AL for align. That to that block. That to that lock. There, there, lock. There, there, lock. There, lock, there, there, lock, there, there. I mean, I could use multiple alignment actually, I just realized now, but whatever. I forgot. So, now let's test it out. Let's change the height to 18,000. Yep, they all work. Uh, leg spacing 2000 yep and let's change the size to something smaller okay not that small but yeah there you go cool done now in the future I may even add like a An extrusion that will come up as a shaded area so like you'll need to you may need to make drawings like sway drawings to show how far it can sway like this sorry the amount of space you need to give it um, to take its sway into consideration uh, but I'm not going to look at that right now I need to actually work out how to do that more efficiently and how to do it one way I need to do, how to do it another way now I'm going to save this as Save your project families in one folder. Uh, I've already made one earlier, but I'm going to save this one over that one. Oh, that one. Save. Yes, I want to replace. Uh, also, before you go, I'm going to keep this as a gen no. I'm going to I'm going to say structural columns, uh, just to define it as something, um, because they are columns. Kind of. Ah, uh, generic models is fine. Um, well, whatever. I'll just leave it at that. But either one's fine. Material for model behavior. Steel. <coughs> Sorry. Excuse me. Um. Right. Save. Load into project and close. I wanted to go into Crane Gridage. Yes, I want to save. No, no, sorry, no, I don't need to see that. Um, and there you go. I can place them anywhere. Now, when I select this, I can say what level it's associated to. So, level 13. Mm -hmm. Level 10. Okay, it's not doing anything. Uh, that means we need to go into here and find out what's going on. 
Okay, so I worked out. Um, this thing, I don't know what the flip is wrong with it. It doesn't work, but what you say is pick new host, and then you can pick the floor. And there you go, it works over there. I mean, I don't understand why it won't just let me change the number in there. So just come to a view like this, pick new host, and then you can see which one it will associate to. Anyway, I'll delete that one. Um, great, cool. Okay, so this is going to be associated to level 13. I believe that's what that is, yeah. Oh, level 12. I'm going to go to level 12 right now. And our crane grillage is going to rest on this floor. Uh, it's going to be around there somewhere. Oops. Oh. Wrong one. Oh. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Let's go like that. Right, so that that's the family done. But now, another thing I wanted to do was make this a... I mean, we've made it a collaborative model already. 